Hello everyone, so we are going to generate a PDF, in this case an invoice PDF using a quest PDF and .NET 8. And as you can see, this is a PDF that we are going to create in this series. So yeah, this is a quest PDF, this is a modern PDF library for CSAP developers. I choose this because it's more easier to use for me. And then basically it's free, you can see on the pricing here. So we can use the community license in here. This is a free forever. If we are want to do commercially, we can use this, but at least our revenue is under 1 million USD in annual. And there is a documentation page in here getting started. Yeah, we can learn everything with Quest PDF in here. And the best thing about Quest PDF, there is a companion application. So if we read in here, Basically, it's to help us generating a PDF and then showing the changes we made in code real time. So we can see real time the change. For example, we add a new table. We want to see how the table looks. It can be automatically showing in this Quest PDF component. It makes us easier to generate the PDF. And then let's just starting creating our project to work with Quest PDF. Okay, let's start by creating an ISP.NET project. I just creating a new project. Okay, I prefer using a blank solution in here. So you can just search blank solution here. This one and name it a quest PDF. Anything you want. Generation. Create. Now we are creating a library in here. Okay, new project. And now search for class library. I name it as a PDF library. So in here we are going to separate the function to generate PDF in this library. And later we are going to have like a web API project to consume this library so the web API can generate the PDF. And I create these three class, yeah. This is empty class still. Uh, invoice data source, invoice model, and PDF templates. So, invoice data source will be used for example later we are going to gen getting data from database and populate what information we are going to show in our database. Oh, I mean a PDF. But in this tutorial, we are going to just using a fake data, not actually fetched from database. And that's fine, you can change later if you want to generate from database or no. And then for the invoice model, this is will be a model that we are going to use and implement in our PDF template. The PDF template in here is the template that how our PDF will look like. We are structuring our PDF looks like in this PDF template. Maybe it's still confusing for you, that's fine. So just let the put the invoice model in here. Okay, to save time, I just type it and you can just see in here you can pause if you want to see maybe it's 150 you see now i think okay there is an invoice model and then there is um invoice item model as you can see we have all the information we need in our pdf like a company name address this will be showing in our pdf and then we have a list of items in here yeah so we separate the class we have a list in here instead so we can have multiple items in our pdf okay that's it okay i think you can pause and create this and then for the invoice data source we make it as a public and then we have a public invoice model we are going to return it the invoice model and then get invoice by ID example yeah? and then we put anything ID in here even currently we are not going to use it maybe you can make this as an exercise so you can just change later instead of manually putting the value you can change if getting the from database and in here you can just return a new invoice model and then you define the value in here since this is a fake model we can use the chat GPT to generate our fake data. So 
since this is not actually a model we use in anywhere I can just put here copy and oops generate me a invoice model based on this class one model only with multiple item invoice invoice item okay okay as we can see in here okay nice nice it's generating hmm okay nice there is a multiple item is it okay yeah so i can just copy from here to here and then back to our code go to the data source and we can just copy here and close it maybe okay yeah right clean up a bit maybe okay good now we have fake information to show on the pdf now the next thing we should have is pdf templates in here let's just create a simple template first for this series public document oh the one thing i forgot is we need to install a quest pdf nugget package okay we can go to the manage nugget package and just browse for a quest pdf okay this one i use this version install it okay now we are should call the using quest pdf okay and then using quest pdf when and just generate a public document this should be from quest pdf okay correct and then generate document and here we are accepting the model invoice model invoice okay nice and i just create a red turning the document create this is called quest pdf to create this template container And then we will have a page in here and just create a simple page with the page page color white is there any okay we need to quest pdf health first and then yeah white and maybe we can just have a simple content text hello okay i think this is for this is enough for now later in next episode we are going to create a full template and the next thing you need to install the cache pdf in here just go to the cache pdf and then there is a download in here for windows mac os and linux and after you install you will see something like this and just keep open later when you um, running the project and what project by means is later we need to create not later just to know we are creating a new project this is a console application is it this one console mm, yeah this is console application and just name it as a pdf pdf viewer create create okay now in here the first important thing we need to define a license we need to let quest pdf know that the license we use is um community quest pdf is still not access in here we need to install it 
request PDF. Previously, we only installed in this library, so we need to install in this also. And then, request PDF should be exist now. Still no. Oh, why? Request PDF. Okay. Request PDF. Okay, now it's okay. Settings license and the license type is a community in here okay good now we are going to calling our model in here from the invoice data source invoice data model data source i mean please complete me okay nice okay and then get invoice by id uh, this is a random value one is okay and then var document this will be calling our pdf template generate document we just put the model in here And then to showing on the companion, we are need to document show in companion. So what we have in here, we are getting the model from the data source class, and then we put this model value into this generate document PDF template, and this generate document will returning the document type. This is a quest PDF document. So now let's try uh, see our PDF start a project and then make sure your cache pdf is open and let's start it okay maybe we can just set to like this uh, to. okay so it's easier for us to develop nice okay so the best thing in here if you want to change it example hello alvin and then you make sure that there is a hot reload on file save in here if you want to automatically see the changes every time you save or if no you can just uh, save it and then click this to hot reload so if we do now i save it now i can see the changes so it's make us easier to see the real time change in our pdf generation in the next video, we are going to create the actual PDF template for our invoice. So make sure you are subscribed and like this video if you are not yet, so you can get a notification if there is a new episode for this. And thank you everyone for watching and goodbye.